guys we're gonna make a quick video today i'm gonna tell you from my perspective what you should or what people actually should have uh, spend or need to spend the diamonds when they top up or just farming the diamonds uh, we're gonna go through that and uh, i'm gonna show you which items and which stuff that you really need to focus on so you don't just waste uh, your diamonds so let's go to the shop uh, and then uh, you could you have items on mystic chest here but this is unnecessary stuff because I mean draw five uh, tickets for I think is 800 and that is kind of waste of your diamonds since you don't actually know what of those you know one of which one you're gonna get if you're gonna get this or this or just random you know companion stones it depends so I would honestly just you know suggest that you just um, uh, try to um, save up your diamonds and you can get those tickets from some instance or some events and if you just want to draw draw one it costs 200 diamonds it's kind of you know it's wasted of time and it's wasted of your diamond and it's wasted of your top up so i would just ignore uh, trying to draw more than the ticket you get from your questing and then on diamond shop i wouldn't mind you know i wouldn't even buy anything from this uh, section on the limited because you get uh, you get all this on your quest and your bounties and uh, and uh, all the quests that you have even from your daily you get this you can even get half of those stuff from your guild uh, loot which when you have done uh, abyss hunting thing with your guild so um and then this outfits outfits are kind of you know yeah i mean why would you buy you know for 15 to 10k diamond for just one outfit that kind of doesn't make any sense i wouldn't even care for those outfits i honestly would not i would either put my time on my gears to make better stats and better levels so i would ignore the outfit shop also but on bounty i recommend this is where you honestly you know uh, waste your diamonds but here i already took out sold out for myself some of the chest it was on the first week when you you know clear your stage on the campaign like your storyline uh, after that i haven't wasted any time on getting any packs i mean the chest i wouldn't go for those uh this ones there is purple i would not i would i would honestly save up for those yellow uh bounty package since they are worth you can you get a lot of items like you see here you will get randomly stuff if you're lucky enough you will get 100 uh, shards for your wings i think all the boxes has the wings so yeah it costs a lot i mean it's, there's a lot of diamonds on those boxes that cost so much like this one costs seven thousand this one cost five five uh, i honestly don't know what this one's wanna, gonna cost so i would either go I, I would honestly just go for those chests that are yellow or gold exactly the way we should say it. it's like gold chest I would waste if you are a hoarder like you top up every day and you do a lot of um, gems like buying them instead of farming them then you should buy bounty packs 
which are those that is golden chest and then we go to honor chop i would honestly only waste my diamond i'm uh, not the diamonds but those i think the honor tokens i have like 16.92k i would waste it on them only on this shards i would only waste it on this shards so i'm waiting for more so i can get like the whole packet and it's got 20k of the honor uh, tokens and you can get those owner tokens by doing quests and guild stuff i think and then on guild shop i wouldn't i would only you know um, waste my diamonds on this one back on the diamond shop or on the mystic chest section i would only waste forget this skeleton shards but here you can get also for your guild tokens and then you can click on search you can see where you can get more of them it says guild shop but you have it on uh, diamond shop on the package right here like you see here raven wings and it's a difficult diff, diff, it's the same wings but with different name what i see it i don't know if you guys see the difference between those uh, wings but I will go for this one only for making this one level up and you know for use for look more cooler and here for the uh, gold coins I would just go for this fire dragon scale and this uh, holy light uh, as in those but it depends on which one you want to go with and which one the thing asking for you to lock up and the same here i will go for the world the world less book and the five dragon scale and a13 i would go for the same thing here only for those gold looking ones and same here and then we go to squad shop this squad shop is where you get points by when you do squad sting with your squad team there are instants for them and then you can do a uh, roll dice on your squad where you get six times you can uh, roll di dice and then get points like dice coins here and then you would only wait for the love laventan shards you only get this one i prefer i prefer this one but for now it costs too much so that i need to have uh, I think I have those on my bag right here. Yeah, I need like hundreds. So if I get those from the guild squad, like let's say I do like this and I get those five, I have 97 of hundreds. So I, I only need three more. Then I have this uh, mount. This mount is kind of cool. I've seen people use that one. So I would recommend you guys to get this one. Uh, and then you go to Shadow Market. And here you can refresh. Because when on the reset, the next day, you, the quest will ask you to buy something from the market. And then, you, and then you just do like, if you have gold, just waste your gold on something that shows like gold like this one shows gold and this one and if you don't see any gold like any on any items and you only see diamond don't waste your diamond yes you have five refreshments three times so you just refresh and you will see there will be one or two um, sets where you can buy for your uh, gold but the other thing is that if you have diamonds and you like i wanna i wanna you know have some better stuff and you can go for those 50 percent off and 20 percent off or the 80 percent off i would recommend 
which a lot of people do wrong is that they go for the all the percent but I will go only for 50 80 and sometimes it will show up 90 like here and then sometimes you have 70 you have uh, 100 but it depends on how much you have been working on your shadow market I think there is some kind of ways that you know the more you buy the more the better stuff coming onto the shadow market 90% off right here for this uh, gem for the ruby so like you see this one is important for you you have to be careful on the shadow market so you don't waste your diamonds at once try to waste your gold first and then if you feel like wait I'm missing some items I need more then you go waste your diamonds on the 80% 50% 90% and 100 sometimes hundreds have like one gold you, you have to pay or one diamond I've seen it somewhere on my alt I think but go for those that are more offers like 80 percent 50 and 90 and then we go to gold auctions here you can see if you kill the world boss which are two day uh, I think it's three times or four times a day I think it show up and then the items will be here and you have a count countdown so you have to wait till you can bind because you can't bind this see I uh, clicking on the place in the bind it, I can so you can uh, find any items here like I told you you have nobles here and you have light immortal you have the same thing on the guild loot when you do uh, abyss hunting but I would recommend instead of buying this and this you should focus on get re relic plates you're gonna need them you will see why you will have a section where you go to relic and you have to upgrade yourself and then prices you have gold haul I wouldn't recommend this exchange five times for 50 diamonds you don't have to do it it's kind of waste of time I don't even do it on my um, alt not even on this one I just click on the first free one and then that's it but if you want you can click on exchange five times for 50 diamonds you only get uh, you only get gold that's the only thing uh, and when you hit the multiplier you will get double but it's up to you if you if you really need the gold or if you need the diamonds it depends on you and then here you can clear up your battle power increase your battle power and then you get coins plus diamond and you get some items like you see here you complete that one and you get a lot of diamonds and gold and here on the fan base a lot of people don't know when you get a uh, on Facebook you or the game give out a code you just click on fan base and then you go to more prices and here you can click on and just put in your you know like whatever if you have a code like let's say like that and then you just put it in here and then just exchange and you will get your uh, code gift and something that important also now there's a new uh, event going on here like mirror city, mirror city cave you can roll here is also I wouldn't recommend you guys to you know do it one time for 100 diamonds it's kind of waste of time waste of your diamonds and same as 10 10 times for thousand you don't know what you get from those you know from those stuff but apparently if you do it like 10 times 20 times like 20 50 100 200 600 times you will get those items right here but that will require you to waste a lot of diamonds that's the only downside on this thing and I wouldn't recommend you guys to do it but again I'm not you you not me you will decide for yourself how you want to do it so each time you have an event coming up just go check it and see if it's, if it's require you to use a lot of diamonds or not and then you decide from your side how you want to do it and then you can go where you know when you have got uh, points you can go to the mirror cave and treasure and here you can buy out anything you want from uh, your um, 
you can buy out from your tokens that you get from Tasha tokens let's say that you can get the wings you can get a lot of other stuff here gold even you can get you get 1 million uh, gold it depends on what you want to waste your stuff on if you really want to go with this one and you want to waste your diamonds go for it I don't care so it's up to you uh, but if you really want those stuff right above here then and you feel like you are a diamond hoarder then you should do your diamonds with the 10 times x100 and then preview you can see rewards you can get see how how and what you can get and i honestly don't know how this one works but this was just an example if you see an event just go for the event and but don't waste your diamonds if you really need to unnecessary do it while you know that wait why should i you know waste my diamonds on this when i could just do at one time i mean you don't have to be the top one every time and then you can go to endless here also you have shop here you can get items right here but i don't know i would i would kind of only waste diamonds on the shards and then you can uh, waste your um, these tokens right here for the costume i would I, I am waiting for you know get the punk costume but i will only waste for this one and this one the rest i can get from you know i don't even want this one this looks like weird magic room i don't i don't like it and it's it's when when it's uh, purple is it means that it's either b or a so i wouldn't go for those this one be, could be a s or ss depends and then this one and also it could be s or ss or sss ah. so yeah and uh, then events here this is a more important part on the whole thing you have events every day i think every time when it's over you will get a new one every week you can push a kate and get those stuff right here but i only take the free pack because why should i waste diamonds when you know with diamonds hard to get when you're only grinding if you don't uh, top up uh, and then you can also top up here and get this shard cupid of light shard 50 of them but i only take the free one also because i don't i don't see the point of you know push persecate for five days and just get you know 50 of this thing and then this two and 20 of this i don't i don't i don't see the point what is so good good about it but again it's up to you but this one i recommend you to first clean this uh, standard version up first I recommend that standard version why because why why you don't have to do both at the same time it's because depends if how busy you are in real life it depends if you gonna you know if you're really gonna go up to 80 sometimes it could be up to 100 who knows but I have cleared up to uh, 80 level 80 here and then I could get a battle pass and then get the rest you know like everything that I don't have to do all this under the premium version again all over I could just buy a battle pass and then get everything right here to all the way to 80 uh, I recommend you to buy this one it's cheap and it's best and it's good it's when when you are done with the both sides it will refresh or it could refresh maybe next week who knows and then you can do, do it all over again and then do refreshing again and the dailies here, you know, you have to log in, I think. I think, yeah, day one, day two, yeah. You have to, you know, log in for 14 days. And then you get normal standard version of 100 diamonds for 14 days. 100 diamonds each day. And daily diamonds max is 23,900 diamonds. But I think it's counted with this premium version also. So I would recommend you to get the premium version. It's good for you. 
you should get it and then you claim this 2500 diamonds for the 14 days but i think if you buy it for one uh, uh, like now you could claim all this since you already cleared 14 days so you will you could claim all this and you will have 30 32.9 thousand diamonds and then special offer i wouldn't do this one i would not go for uh, these special offers because it's waste of your money and the diamonds I will go for this one this one and not this one and not this one so yeah I will go for battle pass and daily uh, diamonds and then you will go for the superior value monthly card means that once you buy it you get this uh, title hoard holy guard and then you get a frame and i think you get a bubble and then you get 800 diamonds but you get 500 diamonds daily for 30 freaking days and this is really good uh, offer and you get end of the third end of the third month 30th month you will have 15.5 uh, 15.800 diamonds which is really good so I would recommend you to go for the weekly card. I wouldn't recommend it because you only get for seven days. And um, yeah, sure, it has it has boxes, it has uh, uh, cosmic coins. Uh, but still, I wouldn't go for that. One. I would go for this one. So I would go for super value monthly card and then level battle pass, and then this one. This three daily diamond pass, level pass, battle pass, and then monthly value month card. And then a festival, you don't have anything to buy it, you just clear out your stuff here, like the questing. And um, uh, what you're gonna have to waste some diamonds on is your stamina, like you can friend request them. And then you can persecute them. I do this every day because sometimes I do need them because sometimes you can't, you know, uh, upgrade like your gears. Like when you go here, you have to refine your gears, and it costs. Uh, and it's called blessing. You know, when you bliss all, you you have to buy uh, stamina. And you have a quest where it says it says that you have to persecute one for you. So you clear the daily routine right here. So yeah, that's how you basically waste your diamonds on the shops and everything. And how you get diamonds if you are not a, a um, top up player like pay to win player and you are a free to play, free to free to play player. Um, you collect your diamonds from here. These weekly things. You have a lot of quests for seven days for every week. Clear them and you get 50. You get from on the challenging, you get 100. I would say save them up because you can honestly save them up to all the way up to um, 50K diamonds because I know I did it and I have 50K diamonds on my all because of I haven't wasted any money on this game. And I just saved up. I didn't even bother to, you know, care for uh, get. I'm sorry about this one because I just left the guild because of some. Eh, I'm not gonna get into it. I don't care. It's just a freaking game. So it's coming up that I need a guild, but I'm not gonna make a guild or or be in a guild because I don't feel it like that right now. So no, it just, this thing is popping up. Uh, so um, you can get diamond from this festival and then you can get from dailies you get every day you get diamonds also and then you can click here and you have a compass you will have compass when you clear the 15 quests for dailies main quest then you get diamond boxes if you lucky on your wheel and then you can do the treasure map also you get here you can get 2x, sometimes one diamond box, but you can get 2x and you get 2,000 diamonds. So there's a lot of ways you can do, you can even go to your map and then you go to wild 
Oh shit. Yeah. Let's go to while. Uh, I will show you what to do there. Let's see. Like when you come to this map, watch out people will kill you because of they have no respect for the other people while you're doing quests. So click up your map and then you can you know those purple dots they are mobs which you can go and kill and go afk and you will collect some compass or maps like you see this dude here he coming and try to kill me for no reason for no reason <sighs> so let's get out of there And uh, yeah, you can collect diamonds from your mode section here also, you can, from the campaign gen, and then from Trail of Destiny, and then Wild where I just showed you, and then you can from eat a trip. You can see, you will see where you can get diamonds, and the material dungeon, you can even get from Bounty, you can get some, and then from Squad. And then exping, I don't know. No, you only get the exp and the stamina. Your journal you can get, and then from Dream Realm you can get diamonds. There's a lot of ways you can, you know, farm gold, uh, gold and diamonds, and save them up for better stuff, better days, and better events. So that, guys, is what I think you should do or try to and try to waste your diamonds wisely just don't go around and waste your diamonds just because you have diamonds and then just because you want to be the top first one in the guild or top first one in the server it doesn't make any sense so be careful with how you spend your diamonds and how you uh, charge your diamonds so you can go charge your diamonds right here the cheapest one is for me it's 12 crones, it's, it's from Sweden, it's 12 krona and uh, when you, about this whip part here when you hit each whip you will have um, like here 5 you can buy, I, I would totally tell you to buy you know waste when you hit like any whip you are and you're gonna hit, hit the next whip and then it's gonna show you exclusive pack I would tell you to buy all the exclusive uh, packs with your diamonds that you have instead of buying the direct teleportation where you have to pay for your real money I would recommend that because you will automatically get to these levels on the whip slowly but it's worth it because it's time you uh, hit the hit the whip level you can purchase exclusive packs it's same word as the direct a persecution spec on all the whip sections I am doing this one I am only taking stuff from the exclusive pack because I think it's this is, this is a very good plan above from the game for the non top upper and the top upper because the top upper can get the both exclusive and the direct persecution but only the non top upper can get exclusive and the whip level because every day each diamond that you waste you can get uh, exp for get to the next level of the whip or just you persecute like you said persecute 900 more diamonds for get the whip 5 which means i need to you know maybe get this one with a thousand uh, whip but i'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna do this game slowly with you know um, just do my thing and get myself like a normal person and not be you know a pay to win player is unnecessary you join the game for be you know for be you and have fun not to be the top person in the server and get hated or whatever so that is like it that is like it this is the uh, this is my walkthrough about how to waste your diamonds and your gold and what to get and what item and how to get diamonds and gold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys um, 
play nice and have uh, have a great day see you on the next video subscribe share and like see you on the next one bye